or the sign of cancer. Hello and welcome to my channel. Now, this Ten of Wands is showing up in your reading. So, towards the end of April, you might start to feel as though you're carrying some type of heavy burden. And you may need to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you can try to lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. If you take a careful look, you may find that part of the burden that you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going, it's going to be important for you to pace yourself towards the end of April and try not to take one too much. Because as you can see in the picture, this man, he's walking forward, but he's about to fall backwards. So you may start to feel like that towards the end of April, maybe going into early March. Now, for the present time, we also have this Five of Cups. Five of Cups is another card that reminds us where we put our focus it has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So, you might ask yourself or, or you might be feeling or you might be thinking about what you're going to choose to focus on because the implication, it'll probably be clear to you, such as thinking, are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is that you, you're going to find that you need to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So, for the present time, Ten of Wands and Five of Cups. Now, these are two, mm, two um, disappointing cards. Disappointment type cards in the tarot. The first one is a, a difficult time. You're, it feels like you're going to feel like you got a lot on your shoulders coming up towards the end of April, um, if it's a relationship, it's about a hard place in a relationship. Um, you two may be going through a rough time, and it's going to cause disappointment. It's going to make you think, should I just take these two cups that I have left that are in my hand? See how he's carrying, he's holding these two cups, and three are on the ground with spilt wine or milk or whatever. So, this difficult, hard, heavy burden that you have, like I said, it's going to cause some disappointment. It's going to make you feel like loss. There's some regret, grief. You could start to feel abandoned and, and unloved. And um, so you're gonna tr you're gonna be wondering, should I just take these two cups and get on with this connection and work on what we have, or should I just just leave it behind? So uh, if this is a relationship that we're talking about that's so difficult, it may be about to start the process of ending. Uh, but you have to realize that all is not lost. You're being guided to move to a new relationship um, that works better for you. So it's going to be a choice. You're going to, you know, like I said, take the two cups and work on what you two have or focus on um, being bitter and sorrow and sad about what happened and focus on the milk that's spilled on the ground. So that could be a part of this heavy burden that you're feeling. There's some disappointment in a situation or 
a relationship. It could go either way. But it's going to make you feel pretty sad here. And um, it's not saying that it's over, but it this connection needs your support if you want to see it make it. So it could go either way, really. It depends on what you decide to focus on. But there's some feelings of loss, regret, and probably abandonment with this Five of Cups there. So let's move on over and let's take a look at your person, how they see you. Now they see you like the World card and the Eight of Swords. The World card is about completion. You worked hard, you're almost to the finish line in some way, so it's about not quitting. Don't quit now when you're so close. You're probably in need of some, some rest and relaxation. And you shouldn't be afraid to take it. Because like I said, you're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, if you're asking about work and you get this world card, there's a very good chance that you're probably working too hard for far little recognition and money. So it's going to be important, if this is the case, to make sure you toot your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be do not accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So this is how they see you, like this world card. There's some type of completion. Yeah, they see, see some type of completion. This is how they see you. Now let's clarify this with this Eight of Swords that's below. Now the Eight of Swords is about holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a situation. Or it could be for no reason at all. And I say that because this man, he has these Eight Swords surrounding him. There's a fire behind him. And he's just stuck there. Most people would get the heck out of Dodge if they knew there was a fire behind him. But he's stuck because he's afraid of putting one foot in front of the other. So, like I said, you could just be have fear of moving into the future or you're afraid of getting hurt by some type of situation or like I said, like this picture is showing, you're afraid, um, maybe for no reason at all, because you know what to do. Just put one foot in front of the, in front of the other and, and move, run. So it's about thinking about what it is that you're afraid of, because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So, this is how they see you also. They see you like this Eight of Swords. The World card and the Eight of Swords. Now, basically, what this is saying... Is that they see you stuck in your head about them. You're just stuck. And they see you... Ending this journey. Because you're stuck. You're stuck. They see you as afraid of this connection. You're afraid of possibly getting hurt or you're just stuck in your head. You could also be sticking with someone that's actually bad for you with this Eight of Swords. And you might be just thinking it's better than nothing. And it's leaving you stuck in your head. And they see this. They see. They know this about you. And they, like I said, they also know that they see you as possibly closing this chapter. Yeah, because the world card is about completion, ending a journey.
So let's move on over and let's take a look at how you see your person. Now, you see them as this Knight of Wands and you see them as the Seven of Swords. Now, the Knight of Wands, it's about movement, travel, getting away, and you'll be feeling charged up and full of energy and ready to get things done. Your self-confidence, it will be increasing and uh, it'll help reach towards any goals that you have. This Knight, it's about message. They're message bearers. The messages, they're likely to be positive. They could be related to work, career, romance, um, your projects. They'll be moving right along and they'll be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. So you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel pride when you get this Knight of Wands in your reading. And this is how you see your person. Yeah, you see them as um, very confident. Mm -hmm. they, you see them as wanting to come in with and being positive towards this connection. Very positive. They got a lot of confidence that uh, they can make this connection happen, or they can make they can keep it going. They they're ready to come in and do what it takes because they're fearless and brave. This Knight of Wands. So that's how you see them, and but you also see them like the Seven of Swords, which is a really interesting card in the tarot. As you can see, this man, he's looking really suspicious or really sneaky, okay? And this card, it can point to someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes means prying into someone's life where you don't belong. And if you sense that someone is spying on you, if you sense this, then uh, you could be right. And if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse because everyone deserves privacy. So this is how you see them. You see them with some trust issues. Yeah. Suspicious they are. You see them very suspicious with some trust issues towards you. And you know that uh, they want to rush in and make things right. You know this. This is how you see them. Um, also, just a side note, this Nine of Wands is also known as a player. So you could see them as very charming type of person. They got a lot of in and out energy, player type. And um, you might see them like that. And with the Seven of Swords, you might see them um, playing games. The type that plays games, the player type. That plays games, strategy, manipulative. So it could go a couple of ways with this Knight of Wands here. Um, yeah, they might use tactics. So you see them like this, and it ha it's causing some trust issues. Now, the Seven of Swords is about stalking also. So you could see them stalking. Maybe they stalk you and you know it. Maybe they do things like check your phone when you're away. Just um, suspicious activity type things. And they're in and out. Like players are, they just come and they go. So, um, but you, you, they're coming in though. You do see them wanting to come in, whether they're a player or not. They want to come in and work on this connection. 
yeah so that's how you see them cancer now let's take a look at why it's happening we got this two of wands not the two of wands okay that's one wand up there so that's the ace of wands and so the two of pentacles that's what i'm trying to say okay so the ace of wands it's a beautiful card in the tarot it's about new beginning very positive ones they could be in the area of accomplishments and it could be related to work career uh, love romance but it's about new positive beginnings and if you're having a difficult time now just know that things they are likely to be getting much better very soon and i say very soon because this one it's up in the sky but it just it's just not up there it, it burst it it burst it up into the sky like bam that's what it did okay and that's what it's showing so things are about to get um, better very soon it's about upbeat optimistic and being hopeful about the future with a really really good cause so you're likely to be feeling really energetic and positive or you will be very soon feeling that way now this ace it tells you that now is a good time to start something new so why it's happening is because of this ace of wands um, it's indicating a lot of passion there's a lot of passion in this connection a whole lot yeah now let's clarify it because it's with this two of pentacles now the two of pentacles could be about two main issues at front in your mind and you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking it's not your friend it is not your friend and you may need to cut down on on the things that you're doing in order to focus on maybe just two main priorities so if you're in a committed relationship and you get the two of Pentacles you and your person may be having trouble finding time and energy for each other so you have to make sure that the relationship remains high on the priority list or otherwise it won't be there for you when you come back for it so why it's happening there's a lot of passion but someone's having a hard time making time for this connection because they probably do a lot of juggling that's what it looks like overall for this reading for the present time it's going to feel like there's a heavy load that you're carrying on your shoulder we talked about for the present time and you're going to try to decide should you stay or should you go should you focus on what's good in the connection and and keep going with it or should you just let it go because it's a heavy burden that's what we have for the present time it's a heavy it's a heavy load right now it's weighing on your shoulders and so we we talked about your person they seeing you as completing this connection making it the, the end of the journey for you because you're stuck in your head you're stuck in your head cancer that's how they see you and um they see you as maybe wanting to complete this cycle just just ending this journey because it's too difficult yeah and it's got you stuck in your head got you stuck in your head and it's got you feeling like you're carrying a heavy load feels like you're walking forward and you're about to fall backwards so they think you want to close this journey it's just too much for you so they could see you as walking away and just wanting to just stop it 
this is just too much for you. And you see them, like I said, as his Knight of Wands, possibly an in and out player type. They're coming in real fast and then they leave real fast. And they could be um, using a lot of strategy with you. Manipulative, using tactics, playing games. And it's causing some trust issues. Yeah. So, that's how you see them. We talked about that. But, like I said, for why it's happening, it's happening because this new beginning, there's a powerful new beginning that's wanting to start. It's wanting to start could be more so on your side or their side but there's some juggling here and I'm picking up it's because there is a player in the, in the mix yeah someone that comes in and out real fast they're juggling and they need to bring balance back into this connection focus on just two that's the two of Pentacles and then you guys get this great new beginning but that's only if they can step out of the out of the game plane, come out of the matrix. And if they can, you get this beautiful new beginning. So it's possible it could happen because it's showing up in your reading. But uh, it could go either way. Right now, you're stuck in your head, and you're you're you got a heavy load on your shoulders with this person. And they just, they, they're in and out. But you could have a new beginning. It could happen. 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 